Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video segment, I'm going to show you how to replace the belt tensioner and the belt in a 2017 268 Hino. Now, this video is going to show you step by step so you can save time and money and get your vehicle back on the road again. If you're not a subscriber, just hit that button, become a subscriber right away. So let's begin. Well, I'm on the right side of the vehicle. And the first thing I'm going to do is crank the vehicle and I'm going to turn the wheel front tires all the way to the left so I can have room inside here to actually work. Next I'm going to remove this panel here. There are five bolts to actually mount this panel on. So you need a 13 millimeter to remove these bolts. Next what I'm going to do is remove this hose here so I can actually have room to actually get my hands inside of here to the tensioner. I'm going to use a 13 millimeter and you can use a half inch socket, either one. We're going to go over to the tensioner and this is your tensioner. And this is the reason why we are actually replacing the tensioner. Anytime when you see belt, a third of a belt missing or sometimes even half a belt missing, that's a sign of a tensioner that is wearing and you need to replace that tensioner. We're going to have to go underneath the vehicle. And we're going to have to loosen up this AC belt because we're going to have to pass by this AC belt to remove the dry belt. There is adjustment right here. We're going to have to loosen up on that adjustment. There's a hole right here. Just put your extension, your socket through here. Just loosen up on your adjustment. We're using a 916 or you can use a 14 millimeter. And we're going to loosen up on the AC idle wheel. And again, you need a 14 millimeter. Now we're going to loosen up on the belt. Now you know what's involved in replacing your AC belt. Look like it's in pretty decent shape, but if it isn't, now's a good time to replace your AC belt. There's a couple of brackets I'm going to remove, and you may not have to do this. I'm going to remove the support bracket for the radiator, this bracket here, and I'm going to remove this bracket right here. Just going to remove those two brackets so I can actually get my hands down in here. We're gonna use a 12 millimeter socket to remove these four nuts. Again, we need a 12 millimeter. I'm gonna pause for a moment and take time to actually cover up my open end, it wouldn't hurt. What we're gonna do now, you need a 17 millimeter. I'm gonna use a breaker bar. And we're gonna put it on the tensioner. We're gonna put the socket right here on the boat and we're gonna turn it clockwise. This will release the belt off of the tensioner. We're gonna turn clockwise to release the belt. We just take our belt off the alternator that's going to be the first area you actually be able to, to remove your belt. It's going to be a tight fit. So just take your time. Now we have the belt off of all the pulleys. We're just going to get it on the front side of the, the fan. Just rotate the fan around and just work it blade at a time. There we go. Anytime you see the corners of your servitine belt like this, it's time to replace your tensioner. Don't let it go on. And I didn't realize how bad the belt was until we actually took it off. Look at all those cracks. She did her job. Now we're going to remove this bolt here that's in the center of the tensioner. I would definitely recommend to use a 14 millimeter six point socket. And you're probably gonna have to use a 3-8 size. It's pretty tight to try to get in there. I must say, Hino did not leave much room to replace a dry belt tensioner. I'm just gonna put a pipe up here. Break it loose. I will say, if your vehicle has over 300,000 miles on it, be prepared to spray some penetration oil such as PD blaster on the center bolt of the tensioner. It can be very difficult to remove. I want to say this is not a rush job, so I let it sit overnight 
I sprayed it with PB Blaster and I have taken my gloves off for this because this is a dog fight. I do not want to break this boat. This boat will be tight. And if you have a hard time, just go back and forth and just take your time, breaking it loose. I think that PB Blaster helped. Sometimes it pays just to walk away from a job, even if it's overnight. This center boat will not come out alone. It will hit the fan. And we have to come out with the tensioner. And we're going to go underneath the vehicle. And I want to show you there's another boat. The tensioner has two boats. There is a boat that's actually below on the bottom side of the tensioner. You're going to have to move that boat as well. Now I want to say I took time to screw back in the center boat. Because you cannot get the center boat without removing the whole tensioner. Because there's not enough room to actually clear the fan for the center boat. And the secondary boat is going to take a 14 millimeter as well or you can use a 916. If you do so, make sure you use a six point. It's gonna be a little tight, but not as bad as the center bolt. We got that broken loose. Guys, I had to put a rag right here on this bracket, on this shroud bracket here. The bottom of it was just scraping up my skin. So just wanted to throw that out there. There she go. I found it best to get the, the tensioner past the, the shroud here. Bring it down through the bottom. And I'm on the right side of the radiator. And I have a bracket right here. I'm just gonna loosen up on this bracket. I'm gonna use a 12 millimeter. That'll give us enough room to actually get this tensioner out of the way. Here's our old tensioner, and here's the new. Price range, part number. Now, if you have time, you may want to shop around because these tensioners, they can be pretty expensive, as you can see. Some guys asking, could they just replace this, this wheel here, and would that solve their problem? Chances are, when a tensioner go bad, it's actually going bad in the unit. Because if you notice here, the wheel is still in good shape. So that's not the problem. It's pretty much the unit itself. And I know it's high, but you know, hopefully, if you ever have to replace one, it's only one time in a lifetime of that vehicle. I'm going back on the vehicle, and we're gonna to try to put our new tissue. Back like the old one came out. Since we down here, we're going to install our boat back in place. Make sure before you go too far, make sure you put this long boat, the center boat, back inside of the tensioner before you go too far. Once you have the boat back in place, you're just gonna go through the side here. Just try to work around the fan shroud and take it on up. Once you get up as far as you can go, just let it, let it rest on the fan and the AC compressor until you can actually go on top and grab it from there. Once you hand tighten the center boat, and let's not forget our bottom tensioner boat, I like to put it on a socket because it's kind of hard to get your hands down that far to actually screw it in. I like to take some tape and just tape it onto the take the boat onto the socket for the time being to help me to actually get it started. I decided to add a extension onto the socket as well. And we're just gonna go underneath the tensioner. I have finger tightened both of the boats and we're gonna torque both of the boats down to 44 foot pounds. We have just enough room to get a 3 8 drive torque wrench down here. That's what you want, 44. We have our tensioner torque down, both bolts. Now it's time to install our new belt. Here's our new belt, along with the part number, price range. We're gonna put it on just like the old one came off. We're gonna actually go inside the fan. We are on the driver's side. 
just make sure your belt is over the fan and just put around your crank pulley and your fan pulley. You may have to go underneath. We are under the vehicle. Make sure the belt goes in the grooves. We had a belt on all the pulleys. Warning, space is very limited, so you may have to have someone down below to actually pull on the tensioner while you are up above and you can put the belt on. All right, we got it on. Now's a good time to mount the AC belt. Now make sure your belt is on all three pulleys. Just pull down on the tensioner, put our socket right through this hole here. The adjustment the way we want it, and then we'll tighten down on this nut here. We're using a 14 millimeter. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, that feels pretty good. Pretty tight. You don't want to get it too tight. The way we lock it down, we're going to use a 14 millimeter on the idle wheel nut, or you can use a 916. Don't take much to tighten it up. That should do it. And we good to go there. So now you know how to install your AC belt and make your adjustment. We have two brackets to reinstall. Let's not forget our top bracket. We don't need this anymore. Going to install back our holes. Before we put the cover back on, and it looks like everything is in place, we have everything tightened down, we're gonna start the vehicle. After that, once everything is fine, we'll put the cover back in place and we'll be completed. Everything looks great. Now we can mount on our cover. Now you know what's all involved in replacing your belt and your belt tensioner on your 2017 268 Hino. I hope this video was helpful. Do not forget to subscribe, take care, and God bless.